praise the Lord. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord. We are welcome to today's session. We are having a lecture through this very moment. And our prayer is that we would be able to have uh, time to share thoughts and all that with everyone. So just stay tuned, even as we begin or commence our class, our lecturer should be with us soon. This is a test transmission for our class. God bless you so much. So the class will begin at 8 a.m. Please, let's take notes of the time. Supposed to be 8 a.m. God bless you so much. Our prayer is that we will be able to stay through the time and then we'll be able to share thoughts and have fellowship together. God bless you. Uh, try as much as possible to invite other friends to join us. Because we are really going to have a good time with our lecture. Sorry, we, we, we had to resort to this very means or medium so that we can get as many people to join uh, the class. Else, it would have been uh, a bit of a challenge. So you are most welcome. If you have any question or questions, you are always at liberty to uh, share them with us, even as we fellowship together. So just a recap of uh, yesterday's lecture. We realized that the Duan's literature is the episode written by the Apostle John. And this Apostle is one of the sons of Zebedee who were called to follow Jesus. We already know that Jesus, in his selection of disciples, after having preached at the seashore, asked the two sons of Zebedee, John and James, to follow him and he, Jesus, will make them fishers of men. It is in this direction that we are saying much more there are both internal evidence and external evidence ascribing the gospel according to John to John the beloved being the author or the writer. So uh, that was what we learned yesterday. We also looked at the time for the writing, the date of the writing. And it is assumed that our scholars have agreed that the date for the writing of the Johannes literature or John, the gospel according to John, is between 70 to 100 BC. And we're made aware that uh, the date 70 BC is a very remarkable date. Reason being that it marks the fulfillment of the prophecy of Jesus Christ regarding the destruction of the temple, Jerusalem. So uh, it is assumed that within these two dates, that is AD BC 70 and BC, 
Now it's AD seventy <laughs> to AD hundred. So uh, we also looked at the various themes within the writer, and we got to understand that um, the theme of the Gospel of John is that Jesus is the Word. Jesus is the Word. And again, Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus is the promised Messiah. This could be clearly seen in John chapter 1. That is when John quoted from Genesis. And in his writing, John said, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The word became flesh and dwelled among us. So here, John was confirming that Jesus Christ is the word that has become flesh that dwelled with them. And he was to the Father from the beginning. So we tried to uh, look at what actually existed in the beginning. So we went back to Genesis chapter 1. And here we we're looking at Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, that says that in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And then the Bible went further to say the earth was formless and the spirit of the Lord hovered around or over the waters. And what this means is that the spirit of the Lord was present. The word of God was also present and God himself was also present. However, the spirit could not act until the word was issued out. So the Spirit acted, the Spirit of the Lord acted upon the word of the Lord. And for me, when the, we go to this level and we're doing the exegesis, it really got me. I mean, I've been reading that part. I, I mean, I've, you know, give interpretation to it and all that. But when uh, he re echoed this to us in the lecture, I was I was really happy about it. And that even gives some of us uh, a prayer topic. You know, God, God's word or the spirit of the Lord who only act will be activated when Christians issue out the word. So in as much as they are, you are going through issues, you are going through difficult situations in life, and you don't it when you out the word, issue out the word. Then so it means that in as much as they are, the situation are going becomes issues, as it is through but because the more you life, issue out the word, and you the more you speak when you out the, the word, word then it out gives the, the spirit of the Lord. Then so it means that in as much as they are, the ability becomes as it is the energy because the more you issue out the word, so the spirit of the Lord speaks when you out the word. Then it gives the spirit of the Lord. So the Bible says that in as God created the heaven, and that tells us that energy because the word is on the way out before the word. So the spirit of the Lord speaks when you out the word. Then it as the word was formless in the the yeah, spirit of the Lord is not acted upon the formless and that it tells us that by us to see the word in which we are having for the point still, and that is the word in the Father. As the word is not acted upon the formless, the spirit of the Lord is not acted I'm giving you a recap of the one that I'm also using some words to enlighten you as a priest. Yes, God knows the situation of the Father. God knows the issue you are going through. God knows the issue you are going through. But you need to speak the word. I'm giving you a recap of the one 
Hallelujah. Yes, that is why I I am also using some words. Some men are lighting you. Oh, what a needless pain! Yes, God knows that we all because God knows that we are going to not carry. But you need to speak the word in prayer. And that's for sale. So you see, that is why I it is when we carry the light in you, God in prayer, by speaking the word, God knows that we are going to not carry. Then we go, not God's spirit. But you need to speak the word in prayer. And that's for sale. So you see, that is why I it is when we carry the light in you, God in prayer. God, God by you not being here, where God knows that seeing all the things that I'm going through, have you not seen my issues? Oh God, have you not seen my issues? Have you not seen what I'm going through? Oh God, have you not seen my issues? Have you not seen what I'm going through? Oh God, have you not seen my issues? Have you not seen what I'm going through? Oh God, have you not seen my issues? Have you not seen what I'm going through? Oh God, have you not seen my issues? Have you not seen what I'm going through? Oh God, have you not seen my issues? Have you not seen what I'm going through? Oh God, have you not seen my issues? Have you not seen what I'm going through? Oh God, have you not seen my issues? Have you not seen what I'm going through? God is expecting us to speak his word, word I'm going to, so that he can act upon his word. And you see, the word of God has a efficacy to do with it. God has seen it, but that is what the Bible said. He sent to give more prayer his word. You have it. You only call it. And it heals it. And it heals it. And it heals it. So as a child of God, so that means that. The God is of the Lord. And have you not speak his word? So that he can act upon his word. And you see, just with the, the word, and it is just like you are hungry, and there is food set at the kitchen. And you are in the room, and you are in the dining room, and you are in the dining room, and you are shouting. I am hungry, I am hungry, and it feels like you are so hard. So, that means, let's go to the kitchen. The word will get there, we get the plate and be said, so that he can eat and only So, many Christians are not praying, no. And you see, we are only complaining. And it is just like you are hungry. We are just complaining. And we are just mumbling. And you are in the sitting room. When we go to the channel, that's how we will complain. And we will have prayer. And we will have prayer. So, that our God will act upon the way. Let's go to the kitchen. The word will get there, we get the plate and be said. Actually, bless. So, many Christians are not not praying, and you see, we are only complaining. So, God bless you so much. God will end tomorrow. And we are just in our hands. And you are in the same room. When we forget, it is going to be a wonderful time. And the presence of the Lord is going to be a wonderful time. For it is our dear, most reverend doctor. That's why the Lord is there. I am actually blessed. So, many Christians are not praying. God bless you so much. God bless you so much. Meet again. God will end. Tomorrow, bye bye. Have, thank you for you joining the channel. Please, it's going to be a wonderful time. You can the presence of the Lord. So, that's the wonderful share. So, we share